Good morning dear students. Today we are going to start with session 2 of chapter number 6 Mauryan age Chandragupta Maurya and Emperor Ashoka. So let's get started. Students, as I told you in the first session, today we are going to learn about Bindusar. Bindusar was the son of Chandragupta, right? Yes. After the death of Chandragupta, his son Bindusar came to the throne of Magadha. That means he became the king of Magadha. He retained the huge kingdom inherited from father Chandragupta and gifted the same to his son Ashoka. It can be considered as one of his greatest achievement. To inherit means to receive money, property or assets from someone who has died. So, after the death of Chandragupta Maurya, his son Bindusar, came to the throne of Magadh. And Bindusar gifted the same, that means he gifted the throne of Magadh to his son Ashoka. During the rule of Bindusar, Prince Shushim was appointed governor of Takshashila and Prince Ashoka of Avanti. Sushim failed to control the rebellion of Takshashila during his time, while Ashoka successfully suppressed the rebellion. Rebellion means violent acting organized by a group of people who are trying to change the political system in their country. Bindusar did not conquer any new territory during his reign, but maintained friendly relations with Greek kings. As we discussed the meaning of reign in session 1, I hope you all remember it, right? Reign means the period of time when a king or Queen rules a country. He reigned on the throne of Magadh for about 25 years. So for 25 years, Bindusar was not able to conquer any more territories, but he was able to maintain friendly relations with Greek kings. Emperor Ashoka after the death of father Bindusar, Ashoka had clashes with his elder brother Sushim and half-brother, that means a stepbrother. So Sushim was a stepbrother of Emperor Ashoka. Thus, he came to power but his coronation was done after four years. Coronation means a ceremony at which a person is made king or queen. Coronation of Emperor Ashoka was done in the state capital Patliputra. After the coronation, Ashoka increased the royal inheritance inherited from his father. So that means Emperor Ashoka started expanding his state. According to his stone inscription, his empire extended from Kandhar and Peshwar on the northwestern border to Nepal in northern India up to Mysore, present-day Karnataka in the south. Gujarat Saurashtra in the west, Magadh, present-day Bihar in East and Kalinga, present-day in Odisha. Stone inscription means 
inscription done on a stone what do we mean by inscription inscription means carvings done with the help of various tools to write something on stone as we have discussed in lesson number 4 1 you all know that stone inscription are very important source of history here with the help of stone inscription we got to know that empire ashoka extended his empire and we are able to know the exact location of various state of emperor ashoka students now i'll tell you one very interesting story about battle of kalinga and ashoka's reversal that means his heart change kalinga situated in the neighborhood of magadh was a part of magadh empire at the time of nand kings but after establishment of mauryan empire it became independent ashoka who wished to make kalinga a part of the magadh empire again declared war on king jayant of kalinga in the 8th year of his coronation ashoka was the victorious in this war students if you achieve something really big which you wanted to achieve since very long you'll be happy or sad happy right same way ashoka won the war against kalinga which he really wanted to win but you know what happened after achieving victory in the war ashoka saw gloom and sorrow everywhere in the battlefield as well as in the city seeing loss of life and property in the war and crying women and children his joy over victory of kalinga was lost his peace of mind was lost ashoka's heart was filled with feelings of remorse and regret over the war he understood the futility of war and kalinga war became the final war of his life futility means the fact of having no effect or of achieving nothing so even after achieving the biggest thing that he really wanted to achieve since long he was not happy why because he saw that the soldiers from both the sides have to die in the field and family of soldiers were crying out of sorrow and he finally decided not to fight students we should also learn from the life of ashoka even after considered to be really evil king he realized that war is not the solution and his heart changed so we can also learn from this that fighting with anyone will not help us out so i hope you all will also learn from this and avoid fighting with your classmates and your friends and your brother or sister and you'll always promote peace okay you know what happened after that after that buddhist monk upagupta taught ashoka to renounce his weapons and take up the scriptures 
by adopting buddhism ashoka became a religious man from a diplomatic man ashoka was the first ruler who tried to convey his message to the people through his inscriptions language of most of ashoka's inscriptions is prakrit and script is brahmi script means a set of letters used for writing a particular language brahmi script most of the scripts of modern india have developed from brahmi script here you can see the letter a in different scripts first one is given in prarambhik brahmi second one is devanagari that means hindi third one is in bangla fourth one is in malayalam and fifth one is in tamil ashoka's inscription describing the battle of kalinga while describing about his kalinga war ashoka got this written on the stone inscription 8 years after becoming king i conquered kalinga about 1 and 1/2 lakh people were imprisoned more than 1 lakh people were killed this made me very sad people who love their relatives and friends and are gracious towards their slaves and dead are also killed in the war or they lose their loved ones gracious means behaving in a pleasant polite and calm way so i'm regretting now i have decided to follow dhamma and teach other people its principles dhamma is prakrit form of sanskrit word dharma i believe that winning people's heart through dharma or dhamma is better than forcefully winning people i am carving this inscription as a message for the future so that after me my son and even grandchildren do not think of indulging in war they should think about the ways in which they could spread dhamma that means dharma students the inscription which we just discussed and read is situated in the junagadh let's study about the current location and some other details of ashoka's inscription ashoka's inscription written in prakrit language has been found on the way to damodar kund near girnar mountain in junagadh gujarat this inscription contains article of three kings this is article from king mahashatra prudra daman this article gives detail about sudarshan lake constructed by governor pushyagupt who was governor at the time of mauryan king chandragupt if you remember we discussed about pushyagupt in session 1 right yes it is end of today's session and now it is fun time today i'm going to share with you one fun fact about indian history so without any wait 
Let's move to the next slide. The world's first university was established in Takshashila in 700 BC. More than 10,500 students from all over the world studied more than 60 subjects. The University of Nalanda built in the 4th century BC was one of the greatest achievements of ancient India in the field of education. So students, I expect you all to revise the part that we have discussed today. And in our next session, we will further discuss about Ashoka and administration of Mauryan era. Thank you and have a nice day.